everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be making a K-pop journal spread to celebrate three years with Serendipity, which if you don't know, it is Jimin's solo from the Love Yourself series. Um, it was the intro slash comeback trailer for Love Yourself Her, which was actually the era that I started being an ARMY in. Um, I wasn't in ARMY yet when the song actually was released, but that was the era that they were still in when I became an ARMY, if that makes sense. So it was one of the most recent songs when I started standing BTS. And I was really drawn to this song at first because, I mean, I still am, but I was definitely drawn in at first because I love Jimin's voice. It's just so unique and it's so pretty and the song is just so beautiful. So yeah, the seventh song definitely means a lot to me. I've mentioned before that I do want to go back and make spreads like celebrating, you know, anniversaries of older songs um, from before when I started journaling because I didn't start journaling until about a year into being an ARMY. So there are a lot of things that I didn't make spreads for because it was like kind of too late. So I feel like the anniversaries of these songs, music videos or events is a good excuse to like go back and make spreads for them. Oh, and I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but if you notice that my hands look a little yellowy or like kind of stained yellow, um, that's because I had a bit of a watercolor mishap at work yesterday. Um, the Just long story short, the yellow watercolor exploded everywhere. It got all over my hands and my legs, so I'm very stained yellow everywhere. So please ignore that. <laughs> also, um, with this lettering, I ended up having to cut them down a little bit and make them smaller so that it would fit onto one page because I didn't really like how it looked like going on to the other page like I originally thought I would. So I just had to cut them down a little bit before I stuck them on. And then later I kind of cut it out because I didn't want you guys to have to watch me struggle with these letters for that long. But I ended up having to kind of take them all back up and move them over a little bit because I was just a little bit short to add the Y on the end, so I was having a bit of a struggle. <laughs> You also may have noticed I really struggled with writing the three years with part. I don't know why. I just couldn't get it to look 
nice like I wanted it to so I wrote it a lot but I also cut some of that out because I didn't really think it was necessary to show me constantly struggling um, but just know that I was struggling things do not always come easily <laughs> um, so then on the other side at first I was gonna fill the whole page with writing but then I felt like if I did that there would be too much white space on the left side and that I needed to kind of balance out that white space so I decided to draw like kind of a box that matched up with the other side and just keep the writing in there. Um, I've mentioned before that I really struggle with adding white space or like keeping white space in my spreads, but whenever I do it, I really, really like it. So I don't know why I don't do it more often. <laughs> So here is a look at the final spread. Um, I really like how it turned out. I feel like it's fairly minimalistic, but really pretty and it just like really reflects, you know, the song for me. So I like it a lot. I really like how it turned out. Um, let me know if you liked this spread. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!